Hey guys, what's going on? Mighty Lighty here today, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. And basically, we're gonna be kind of doing a vlog, and initially that's what this, this channel was gonna be, is like a PC setup, like, vlog, um, where I show you guys, like, the progress of my setup, and what I, upgrading PC, and, and stuff like that. But I've decided to go with more of a educational, like, teaching, and gaming, and, like, tech reviews for, like, gaming controllers, and gaming peripherals, and, like, all kinds of stuff, basically. Like, I just, any, anything tech, PC, gaming related kind of thing. And I, I feel like that's, that might be a little broad, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, initially I was just gonna be doing vlogs. And so I've decided that I'm still gonna do like a vlog for my PC setup to like document that. Some of my old footage that was on my other phone that broke, I lost it. So this is gonna be, this is episode one, but uh, there's stuff that happened before this even. In that footage to sum it up, I, uh, cable managed my stuff. Uh, I had I got new monitors. I put my one of my old 24 inch monitors up on my wall so I can like watch and play games from my bed. But like it's only 24 inches, so eventually I got a 40 inch TV that went up there. So yeah, I had I had a decent amount of footage and stuff documented. But basically, this is gonna be like its own like a series of like a series so I just want to be able to like share this with you guys because this is kind of like my hobby well, not just PCs but like the setup too like decorating it like uh, doing the like layout and stuff and, and like perfecting it so this is like this is something that I want to be able to share because like I want other people to appreciate it too you know what I mean um, I don't know if that sounds narcissistic <laughs> <laughs> appreciate my stuff that I do. Uh, I don't know. I just it's nice to like show other people and not just have it be for me. <laughs> it gives me purpose <laughs> in uh, spending money <laughs> on my setup and making it look nice. But yeah, so like I said, this is older footage that it's actually already been edited into a video. And then I decided that revisiting it, I didn't like it. And so now I'm currently in the middle of recording this and re-editing it so we'll see how it goes and hopefully it doesn't turn out too bad <laughs> all right so uh how are we doing today i uh ran an ethernet cable last night so now i'm waiting on cat six cables to come i bought two three foot ones at home depot yesterday they did not have 10 feet and three and then 25 <laughs> so i Decided to order on Amazon. This should be coming later today. But I have this network switch, which we'll see how it does. It's 10 and 100, which I'm not quite sure how this works. I believe that means it's kind of like throttled. So like either it uses a 10 megabits per second, and if it needs more than it uses 100 megabits per second. We'll see how this works. If it's not enough, I'll have to get another network switch. But so this is all plugged in my Hue. Hub is plugged in, um, but I'm kind of waiting on those cables right now. This will reach to my computer, so I can plug in my computer via Ethernet. I do have a network adapter. The problem is I don't have all the available slots, uh, PCIe slots. So I'll have to take out the network adapter to put the capture card in, and then I can't use internet until my Ethernet cable comes. So. I'm going to put it in anyways, but hoping it my cable comes soon and then I can plug everything in, tuck my shelving unit that goes underneath my desk back in and clean everything up. I'd like to uh, 3M this here with some double, 3M double sided tape and uh, 3M this somewhere, probably 3M this guy right here, so like that. And then we'll put the Hue guy somewhere. Maybe somewhere accessible because it does have a button on it. I believe that's just for connecting. Also, uh, cable management is really hard. Like, I'm really OCD and I try super hard, but the more I add, the harder it gets and it just keeps getting messier. Yeah, and like these Razer, God, uh, was it Namo Pro speaker cables are just too short and they don't reach and it gets in the way and I can't cable manage it anywhere. I didn't really want to unplug everything, but uh, 
I <laughs> have nothing else better to do until my ethernet cable comes. And so I'm going to uh, tinker with my computer with the new motherboard and the capture card. So we're gonna set everything up, dust everything out, and yeah. Wow. All right. So we got it on its side on my trusty headlamp. Check. And a long, a protective anti-static bracelet. I am in the process of gathering parts for a second gaming PC build. And my current one has an i5 9th gen and this 2070. My, this is an upgrade. My old GP was a 1060. My dilemma is I have the new motherboard, the uh, Meg Z390 Ace that I or MEG, MEG, whatever. The new motherboard I would like to try out in here, but if I put it in here, then I have to retake everything out and put it in the new case, which I don't have the new case. So I just ordered the power supply. So the things I'm miss is missing is the power or the CPU, CPU cooler, and the case. Because I'll take two sticks out of here because I don't need 32 gigs in one system. I also have two GPUs right now. One's not being used. I could put in here so I could take that out. These fans I'd put in there for the time being because I rather put my other fans back in here. My M.2s I'd put in there and put my old SSD back in here. So like I got storage, I've got motherboard, I got power or supply, I got graphics card. I have I would like to get a water cooling, uh, it was an AIO, and I want to get one of those white NZXT uh, cases, uh, 710i. So, look forward to that. But this motherboard would be going in it. We're going to try it out in here. I'm going to take out the GPU. So, my graphics card, this graphics card is fairly new. I had it for less than a month, and it started our artifacting. I sent it back for RMA. I was without it for like a month, and then finally got it back. And the RGB doesn't work. Like the most important thing on the whole thing doesn't work. It's supposed to come back certified refurbished. What kind of refurbishing job is that? If the most important thing on the unit isn't working. I think this thing's battery's almost dead. Okay, that's undone. That's undone. So, starts. And we're out. Today we're doing an unboxing video. Heck yeah. That's a little better. Let's start by taking the RAM out. Let's pop that bit on there. There, now I don't know what else. Oh yeah, I'm about to. While I'm holding all my games. That's a heavy, heavy thing. Oh, oh yes. Okay, snap that in there. I'm very like I know a lot, but I am inexperienced. This is my first build. Just start my second bit. Oh shit, cooler. It's all cleaned up. Oh, it hell it does do that.
I should have just done a dot instead of it. That would have been fine. Now that's too late. For sure. Shit, I did it again. this thing back together my phone died so and this bracket snapped the end so I had to flip it around it was kind of odd with this thing in the way um, this thing does have more open PCIe slots but unlike my other motherboard where two were exposed only one is open so that sucks um, yeah, so and this fan is here now, but it seems like it might be kind of weird. I can kind of move it around if I wanted to, maybe figure out what works, but probably right below the GPU, right over the vent here for the hard drives. But all in all, I'm gonna plug everything in and power up. Also, while I was uh, finishing up, my cables came, so I'm gonna take care of that as well and come back when everything's set up. So after much uh, trifle dealing with Microsoft, um, everything's plugged in and working. Uh, didn't even think about it, but swapping motherboards is basically like making a new computer. So Windows wasn't activated and I couldn't find the Windows Pro key because I upgraded and the key wasn't in the email so I had to call and wait for an hour to figure it out. <laughs> but everything works now. Yeah, okay so I also got my network switch. My new one, not this, oh I already put it away. The 100 megabit per second cap. <laughs> What's that? Nah, we're almost like six times that. Heck yeah. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments.